Ah, it's a business. <laughs> Do you think there's something? I thought it's like the owners of the horses who don't like cars anymore. So today is on Saturday and we are currently in Vienna. We are just leaving the parking lot. We are headed to Graz. That is where we will be until next week. Yeah. So we just had lunch at a very nice Italian place. I did not finish my yummy pasta. So I will be finishing it during our journey. Yeah. So uh, today is just a relaxed day. We really don't have any plans. When we get there, maybe we will do another walk. organizing this is what i mean so the bags go here this is like the storage area for the bags we have put our stuff in the closet the bed is closer to us now ready for bed so fiona has so much space to play in uh, our computer is set up we can do our stuff should close here so not seen by the neighbors our bed is ready. My handbag is just next to me there. Bath stuff is set up and ready to go out and find dinner. Yeah, so I will see you guys tomorrow. Say I'm here to say I'll always be Uh, almost 10 and I'm leaving the room right now because the marathon is about to start I want to go to the starting starting point uh, so that I can get some nice footage for you guys yeah so let's go
good morning so uh it's on monday morning monday yes it's on monday morning ah actually not morning it's like lunch time yeah uh we today was supposed to be our lazy day fiona and i had decided today we will just be sleeping and watching uh tv and stuff like that but then stefan decided no 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 we have to go out with him and we are waiting for him to finish his meeting and then he will come back to us we are just having lunch here as ladies we are having lunch here uh i had the simple typical german lunch here Uh, we call it uh, lebakis. Eh? It's just, <laughs> it's just like an abnormal burger. It looks like this. It's just like a nice big piece of mm, salami. It's like a type of meat. Sorry, it's like a type of meat, and just between two slices of bread, you can have it with ketchup. You can have it with mayo. It's really, really good. And then the the meat is different. You can choose pizza. You can pizza a pizza like meat thing or uh, all types. All types. Let me just say it's all types. I've already had mine. I had the pizza. I've already had mine. I had the pizza mix. Um, Stefan also ate something. This one. The extra one we just bought it for Fiona and she's eating it here actually. We bought it for Fiona and she's eating it here actually. She's just enjoying it here. As I feed her because she just woke up, yeah. We were driving for like two, two and a half hours and she was asleep the whole time she just woke up. So I'm feeding her right now. Um today is just I don't think there is anything interesting we are doing but we will do some shopping after here before we go back to the hotel yeah so anyway uh that's pretty much it for today uh it was it's just a relaxed day tomorrow we have a few things a few good things we are doing but Leo Leo is just a chilled monday as it should be yeah so I will talk to you guys later. So, on that day, we ended up visiting the Grath Slide. This place you have been here before. It is the tallest underground slide in the world. And I have done it. Uh, it costs about 20 euros. But you have to pay for the slide separately from the elevators. So you need tickets for that. And then there are also tunnels you can walk through. There is the staircase that is really that gets you to the city view. It's really amazing to be in this place here. Yeah? So if you're ever in Graz, make sure you stop over here and do the slide. Plus, now I think they have like a video option where they can take footage of you going down the slide at high speed and then you can have something like that to upload. Maybe I will do it again next time I'm there. The other day I was on the street. I ran into a face. It was good to see. We talked a couple hours and we missed all of the taxis. As we realized what time it was We both let out a sigh As we've always done As we turned to leave We knew this wouldn't be the last one No mm. Because that's how it flows When you're with the ones you love the most And even when it's time to go We know what we know say goodbye cause we never wonder why if we'll be seeing each other again cause we're true friends see I'll always be around whether here or heaven bound 
We'll be seeing each other again Cause we're true friends True, true, true friends True, true friends Oh, cause that's how it flows When you're with the ones you love the most even when it's time to go, we know what we know. We don't have to say goodbye, cause we never wonder why. We'll be seeing each other again, cause we're true friends. You know I'll always be around, whether here or heaven bound. Good morning. Uh, it's actually afternoon. Good afternoon. Uh, so today is on Tuesday. And it was our lazy day. Mm, we are alone, me and the lady. And we have been relaxing since morning. Yeah? So right now it's like midday. So I want to get, to get us ready. I want to get us ready for the day before Stefan gets here uh, we've just been in bed relaxing and watching a bit of Netflix I'm watching, I'm watching a thriller called Reptile it's been a while since I watched Netflix so I had to borrow Fiona's tablets to do that and now she's she just woke up and is screaming at me to give it back so i will set her up for her coco melon stuff or miss rachel and then i can take a shower and give her a shower sorry sometimes i forget to hold up the camera <coughs> so i can take a shower and give her a shower and then uh, i think stefan should be here we're supposed to go have lunch somewhere and then um uh, after that, ah, for breakfast today, Stefan had already left for his business meeting by 6. So we were left, uh, mm -hmm. we were here and then we went for breakfast, just the two of us. And then we came back and we were just cuddling and sleeping. Yeah? So uh, for lunch, I think we, we can go to an Italian place, uh, an Ethiopian place. But I'm really not sure because that was a plan. Yes. Yes, that was a plan we had with a, with a new Kenyan friend here in Austria. So, uh, I'm waiting for Stefan to arrive. So, we decide if we will eat Ethiopian for lunch or we wait for our Kenyan friend to be available. So that we can go to the Italian place together. Um, alternatively, or just go for drinks. Yes. So, uh let me get going with that and then i will talk to you guys when we are out for lunch yeah the other day i was on the street i ran into a face it was good to see we talked a couple hours and we missed all of the taxis As we realized what time it was We both let out a sigh as we've always done As we turned to leave we knew this wouldn't be the last one No mm. Because that's how it flows When you're with the ones you love the most And even when it's time to go We know what we know say goodbye cause we never wonder why if we'll be seeing each other again cause we're true friends see I'll always be around whether here or heaven bound we'll be seeing each other again cause we're true friends That's how 
how it flows when you're with the ones you love the most. And even when it's time to go, we know what we know. We don't have to say goodbye, cause we never wonder why. So, I'm leaving now. I'm going to meet up with the Kenyan friend we made a few days ago and then uh, I'm not sure maybe a coffee we can grab a coffee and maybe we can grab a coffee and maybe do a bit of shopping I'm um, uh, just walk I am not sure I'm not sure I am not sure so let me go see what her plans are and what my plans are and then I will figure everything out, yeah. So I need my card and some money. It's very quick, quick. Okay, let's go and see what we have planned. It's around 4.30, so there's really not much we can do. Okay. Good morning. So it's very early in the morning uh today is wednesday we're getting ready to go home uh it's around six it's no it's five something and we are already ready to leave but we have to go and have some breakfast and then drive home it's like six hours or seven hours to get home so that's why we woke up so early yeah it's it's not a bad morning the weather looks good i will see you guys uh when i get home because i want to show you everything i did yesterday i never got time to show you what i was up to with the kenyans around here so i will show you all the stuff i bought when i get home i will give you i will give you an overview of my time here and maybe i'll recommend some places yeah so see you guys in in a couple of hours <laughs> to this village it's like in the middle of nowhere but it is surrounded by beautiful beautiful views so apparently if you want to summer without being surrounded by other people to do your hiking and just live your simple life in the sun this is the place to be unfortunately in the winter if the roads are closed here you cannot be here because the snow service does not get up here 
that means you have to you will be locked in and you cannot go out until winter is over but it was so beautiful we decided we will check it out and maybe next summer we will book a cabin up here and stay there for a few weeks promised to finish the video from from Graz. yes I know if I promised to finish that so I will do that now uh, yesterday I could not do it we got home and we were so tired and it was like 5 p.m. and when we got here we just showered and went to bed we did not even finish every organizing stuff so anyway i want to finish that for you today i love who i have an, an outro for the video and then see that's it that will be the end video although i will i don't know if it's today but i will probably make i have an idea of a video that i think i should be making since i'll be going on a break for maybe two to three weeks yeah so anyway uh let's get to what i got when i went to hang out with some of my kenyan friends in austria ah okay so ah i want to introduce you to our night in the house his name is gilbert he was he's a vintage um what are these things called he's not a puppet he's a vintage something I will write it down for you here. Uh, 
we were gifted by the parents of a friend and they bought him like 50 years ago so he's worth some good money but he's not for selling this one was specifically gifted to me <laughs> so <laughs> there is no way i'm planning to sell him i just like hanging him around plus the good nice people who gifted him to me they said that i should pass him down because they bought him and they passed him down to their kids and then one of their kids said oh yeah you can gift and then i was gifted so i will just pass it down to my kids yeah so anyway yes that is gilbert he's our knight in the house see he's, he has seen some better days but he's in still very very good condition he's in perfect condition and i just keep him here in our bedroom so he can he can be closer to me and i make an effort to make sure i remind everyone who wants to touch him that he's not at all because he's quite expensive actually now with the years going going by he's quite worth some really good money so i will not want him getting ruined or something yeah so when we went shopping we went through a few stores but uh we ended up going to the new yorker i have shopped once before at the new yorker but <laughs> I will not say what happened because it's not a nice thing but i don't even those pants i don't wear them anymore for for the <laughs> so this time at least I, I went with a lady so i think she knew she knew where to find she lives in in Graz, so she has a better idea where to find the good stuff she knows how to look for stuff like that and it, it was a it was a quick and pretty good experience i also checked h&m i checked um, veromoda but we ended up settling for the new yorker yeah? so first things first what did i realize Com comparing all the stores that we went to uh i left h&m because everything looked like uniform you know what i mean like one thing is they are like 20 pieces of the same thing and I, I normally don't buy stuff like that that is no 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 i don't want to wear a uniform so uh we settled for the new yorker because there are a bit of the pieces were like three four maximum the same thing yeah uh, another thing i noticed is that the, when you shop at the new yorker the sizes go smaller they fit smaller so you have to really end up have to try to to try out your clothes normally i just look with, look at something with my eyes and i know that one will fit me but at the new yorker i was wrong most of the time yeah so that i would suggest if you're shopping even if it's online be careful about the sizing but their prices are really fair i got a lot of stuff for not little money for good money um anything else no so let's get down to what i bought uh first things i needed uh this type of pants i don't know what to call this this is Oops. Not a cotton pant what is this I needed this type of pant because when you're traveling you really need comfortable pants unlike wearing denim which is totally it's it's the name is sorry the name is just not working for me when i travel because you see most of the time like yesterday we left we left the we started our journey in the morning uh although we had like a few business appointments in other places we ended up getting home at 5 30 in the evening so you can imagine the whole day if you're wearing jeans you will be so uncomfortable with all that driving so i needed these pants 
and I'm running away from black. I only need like two pairs of black pants. I'm running away from black. So that's why I got this color. It's really, it's a really nice pant. Yeah. And it was only 20 euros. Yeah. So it's a, it's a nice pant. I can wear this pretty much anywhere. You can dress it up. You can dress it down. Yeah. It, it just depends on what you want. And that is, that was just perfect. I saw it. I saw the black option and then I asked the ladies there, oh, do you have a, another color? They said only gray. So I decided to take it, yeah? Uh -huh. um, and because Stefan is always buying me stuff and I never buy him stuff, <laughs> I decided to buy him this sweatpant because winter is coming and it's really, really warm. It's 100% cotton. So... I, I thought why not and I got him some nice pants plus during winter sometimes I wear his sweatpants so why not buy him <laughs> buy him and myself something that I can still win I don't want to wear my clothes so this was perfect color it does not have a lot of drawings and writings because a lot of stuff you find most of this stuff they like all the decoration and all that which is not our style uh, I know I'm running away from black, but I had to get jeans. And you can see these jeans look so big, but I tried the size, the size S, and it was not working for me. Yeah, so only the M fits much better. And the reason I bought this is because the only, the other only black pair of jeans that I have does not um it fits me perfectly it's mom jeans because now i only wear mom jeans i have uh skinny jeans i only have i think like two pairs yeah so now i prefer mom jeans the other the, the other pair that i bought was um it gets lint all the time like if i leave the house and just sit somewhere it is collecting lint and I cannot go with my lint roller all the time doing this. And no, 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 no. It was getting stressful and I needed pants that specifically don't catch lint. And the only option I found was this. And this is not even black. This is like an off, like an off black. They said what exactly. It, it's like an off brand. It's like the old school, the old school jeans. And that, that was really helpful for me. Plus... It's a hundred percent cotton. I'm really hoping this one will not disappoint me because the other pant makes me angry. I have to pack my link roller all the time when I go somewhere with it. Because even a sweater, if you just hold your sweater like this, all the link from the sweater will just go on the pants. So those pants were really stressing me out. And if this works, I will just find another New Yorker in Germany and just go shop for or maybe another pair of pants and the other the old one i will figure out if where to take it yeah so i bought that was the third pair of pants i bought and i got a trench coat this this makes me so happy <laughs> it was the most expensive piece but it makes me so so happy because can you see how long it is mm? can you see how long it is and it's so nice and warm. I got a, a size bigger because I'm planning to layer it. And normally with layering, layering you have to, uh, to, to wear, that means you're wearing something else inside. Probably a sweater in and you need a, something that is a bit bigger like that. So this is perfect. And the main reason I got this is because... Uh, the jacket that I had left with that is Heine that it's a very good company I have shoes from that company the problem came in where it had all these buttons on this side and like buttons on the it was very well decorated but when I traveled with it Fiona started pulling out those buttons and now it has no buttons at all all those buttons I had to put them in the pocket and I have to take the the jacket to the tailor now the problem the other problem comes in that here 
for a tailor you 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 take your stuff and then they give you an appointment of going to come back and collect and that appointment for us normally from from our specific tailor it takes like a month minimum imagine just fixing buttons a whole month i have to wait so i will not be having a warmer jacket like an autumn jacket no 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 with this cold because now the cold is coming the rain is coming you need something to keep you warm now i don't have any other option and i cannot start wearing my winter jacket right now see other people will wonder hey what is happening with this one so i had to get a trench coat and i decided to go for a lighter color which i don't know if it was uh, the best idea but i really liked this color so hopefully <laughs> Hopefully I will not be disappointed and it was re quite long and that made that made me even happier the fact that it is long and It's a nice it's a nice neutral. It's a nice white light color Considering I'm running away from black and I'm saying that so many times because um, I had a couple of years of like an obsession with black. I was only wearing black and I think after growing older that kind of faded is fading away and I really don't want to see black clothes in my in my closet on my hangers no 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 no. I want brighter colors I only wear the black the the black pants I bought because sometimes you are you're invited to maybe a burial you have to wear black you need that one black thing that's why I need a black pant plus so as in, you know you don't have time you don't have you don't feel like you ha you're in the mood for anything so bright so the black comes into play yeah? uh, so that was one of the my favorite buys this one i really enjoyed shopping for it i totally enjoyed oh they did not get this out um this So, you see, it's really heavy. It's like wearing a blanket, which is what you need when the cold is coming in. But remember, even with such a jacket, uh, when winter comes, this becomes useless. You have to pack it. So, to pack it and wait for warmer weather. Uh, the last thing I bought was my stuff, like my private stuff. And Fiona Spoon is also here. So anyway, guys, thank you so much for hanging out with me. That was all that I bought. That was everything that I bought. And it made me so happy. I know. <laughs> I have a very long receipt. I don't know if Stefan has seen it, but... Thank you so much for hanging out with me uh one thing i will say is that the kenyans in austria were so amazing they were so open i think i've never had i've interacted with kenyans also in germany but i think in austria it was more they were more inviting they were more oh we are not so many please if you want to have a drink if you want to me to take you shopping if you want me to show you the indian place if you want me to show you this and this they were so open about that which is not so common in germany and i don't know why but austria really stole our hearts because you see even after the marathon yani they they came and then they were saying give us your contact we need to stay in touch and then they were saying ah oh, we will go for lunch somewhere we will invite you you go back to the hotel let the baby sleep for an hour and then we can meet up and then when we met up i thought i will only be meeting up with kenyans but no i got there and they had come with their families and their kids and people were interacting and this yes it it was amazing it was like home even where we were everybody we were just laughing and talking and then some Ghanaians came it was so different for me considering to how i've interacted with with kenyans in germany that was a bit i felt oh my heart is full they were so so nice and after leaving there everybody's asking for everybody's number because some of those people also met for the first time there yeah it was it was so it was so like home even when everyone was leaving they were like oh i felt like it, i had a moment with home it was so inviting and so 
interactive and a lot of laughing and we spent i think almost three hours three three hours we were there eating and drinking and the husbands were chatting over there the boyfriends was it was it was a whole it was like a kamkutanoka home you see how it feels it was exactly like that nobody felt left out even when leaving people were like oh i don't want to leave but i have to go somebody has to go home and walk their dog Somebody has to go do laundry. Somebody else was traveling back to Vienna. Somebody else was uh, was having something to do. It was your living was so hard because it was such a wonderful time. So big up to Kenyans in Austria. They were very very welcoming, and they were, they decided they they will plan out something that uh, so that we can meet up and do something like have a get together for Kenyans maybe hopefully that will come to pass and we can meet up again yes thank you guys for following us on our vacation from the beginning to the end that was everything that we did uh and now i think that will, this will be the end of the video although i want to do another video so if you are a parent looking to relocate and you have small kids I think it will be good for you to watch out for my next video because I will be discussing a few things and because I have given you videos back to back for the next like three weeks I will explain for you I will explain to you in the next video and what I will be doing and that will be so important for moms who will be relocating with kids you are supposed to know these things yeah so thank you so much for hanging out with me I hope I see you in my next video. Bye-bye.